Good morning. I'm going to play the Reds today as a senior golfer. I think I should be entitled to a shorter golf course every now and then if I feel like it. There's only one problem. The whites are assessed for men. The yellows are assessed for men. The reds here are assessed for ladies. And I've done some research and in my home county, 78% of the golf courses, the reds are not assessed for men. So you have no course rating. You have no slope rating. You have no handicap. And you don't know what the par of the course is. Because a par five for a ladies at 400 yards it's a par four for a man. So uh, let's go play the Reds. I mean, how hard can it be? Well, the first here is only four yards forward. So no real change. It's just as hard as playing the yellows, really. That's a bit of a low one. It's caught the downslope. So it makes me look good by running forwards. So it's in with the nine iron. Now I played six holes yesterday. The greens are hollow tined and they were very slow and very bumpy. So I'm not expecting to make any good putts today. And that one's spanned back off and up, up against the collar. Yeah, it's not starting well. Ah. They've cut them this morning. They weren't that speed yesterday. Yeah, they've definitely cut them. That's ridiculous. Stupid three putt to start with. Well, I hope it's a three putt. It's not going to be a four putt. That would be a little embarrassing on camera. But this proves what I said about our greens are forever changing, whereas the pros are not. Second here is 30 yards forward and offset to the right. So the marker post in the middle of the fairway is in the wrong place. I'm going with five wood. I don't know how far it's going to go. I've kept it tight left and I'm really pleased with that. That should be right in the throat of the green. Uh, but it's been thrown all the way across here on the slope. I can't go up with a sand wedge. I've got to play a chip and run. This isn't working out very well. I won't stop. Thirty yards forward and up the hill. I'm sticking with driver. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, to be honest. Bit of a nasty slicey one. But it should be okay. Uh, but it's not. I've gone through the fairway, down onto the flat. i got a nasty little lion here. Nasty shoulder to come over. I've come up short because of the rough. So it's hit the down slope, scooted way across the green and up here. And that is difficult no matter what tee you play off and of course now I'm a little afraid of the green because it's slow and or fast or bumpy in fact they're all different at the moment so we're two over after three fourth hole four yards forward no change four iron pretty decent for a change run off the left side because this is a hog's back fairway you don't stay on it very often but I must remember to get down the left more often because this is most definitely a better angle so I've learnt something so the last green was a little slow so I'm going to give this one a bit of a thump uh, this one isn't slow Are there any holes yet where I'm going to get an advantage for playing the Reds? Well, here we are at last. 158 up the hill, 6 iron. No fear of coming up short on this one. 
I've got one of my favourite clubs in my hand. This should go well. <laughs> Look where I'm aiming here. This describes just exactly what the Herefordshire's greens are like. All right, this one's a little slow. That would normally have made it down. So hard to judge with the greens being so changeable and lumpy bumpy. Right, four to bit. Now the ladies play this as a par five. I'm playing it as a par four, simply because it's, it's only 382 yards. And when the course is assessed, this will be assessed as a par four. But it's nice to be that bit closer than normal. I'm, there's no seven iron or six iron today up this hill. It's just a nine. And I've shoved it a bit. I'm really not taking advantage of the shorter holes. Or the holes being a fraction shorter. You notice that when you hit a bump and turn left, you hit another bump and turn further left, and then you hit another bump and you turn further left. It never turns back towards the hole, does it? Yeah, that took a nice jump as well, so that was the par out the window. I think I'd be scoring better on when the greens are uh, smooth. Yeah, mucked up the recording. I've gone long with my seven iron and a little left. I'm dead and buried here. There's no par from there. Yeah, not a chance. Well, I had it if I'd hit it. Well, a fair bit forward here, so I've got to take advantage of this. I normally play this at 455 and 460 from the competition tee. Yeah, nice fade, Simon. Really nice fade. This is ugly. Sat down. Don't have a great deal of chance. How can you mess up a hole when you're so much forward? At least that low one will run a bit. Very simple little pitch. Misread the green, misread the speed. And same again. Oh, good grief. Yeah, five over. This is this is worse than when I played the yellow teeth. If I can get a decent one away, this is going to help me being off the reds. Just nip an eight iron over the corner. You can't see the green. No point putting the arrow in. It's over there, round the corner. And that is superb. About time I did something good. I've been trying to assess the course as I've gone round, so to speak, and I think I'd probably get five shots against the par of 69. Off to the tenth. This one, we've really got to take advantage of. Well, this has a completely different look. 45 yards shorter and looking straight down the green. And I've hit one of those low pulley things. Fortunately, I haven't hit it far enough to actually get in bother, apart from a poor lie. I've hit it further than this from 45 yards back. 
just cling on to the right side of the green and we got another putt for a bird the back nine is a fair bit easier than the front although instead of getting two par fives I only get the one you can see I've never putted from that side of the green before really bad read but I put a lot on memory perhaps because my eyesight is so bad so that putt will definitely go in the memory bank in case I ever get over the right side again a little further forward on the reds here on the 12th I'm just gonna hit my hybrid as normal but you can see how afraid I am of that right hand side because I'm aiming down and hugging the left which isn't a good place to be because you're not coming straight down the green I'm making too many mistakes aren't I and that's due to being sort of like unfamiliar with the tees and even though I'm trying to plan ahead it isn't really working out long one up here yeah uh, another great read I don't know if it's bad reading or whether I'm just hitting a bump and then another bump and then another bump and just getting further and further off line oh Simon well we're definitely a long way forward here so I'm hitting a 9-9 nine nine when sometimes I'm hitting a 6 so I've really got to take advantage of this I'm pin high and this proves once again that the bumps never bump the ball towards the hole yeah disappointing right my only par 5 on the course all I've got to do is hit a little fade into the fairway anywhere right of the big poplar in the middle of the screen and we're fine and dandy yeah not over there Simon just see if I can get back on the golf course in the direction of the hole nope dragged it left now it's just down to guesswork I've, I've never really been here before so I just don't know what to do I've guessed at the seven now we wait must be short well this is where I finished short and short usually means you've had it wasn't a particularly good read No, it was that. I'm going to make a mess of the only par 5 I get to play today. That's very, very silly. Now, I've been here before because sometimes the yellow tees get pushed up this far when they get a little bit worn with divots, so this is very familiar to me. Hitting an 8 iron in here. Oh, shot tracer is absolutely awful. So I'm just past pin high and passing back. Not quite enough. But another par, and I'm always happy with a par. There's no such thing as a bad par. Well forward here compared to the yellow tees, but it is a par four. And it does get rather tight up there. Didn't think that was going to happen. And just a five iron in up the hill. Do you know what? I might actually make the best par of the round here. I really didn't expect to be making a four up this hill, but there it is. only seven yards forward so no change to what I do hit my driver 
and hit a wedge. Although that was a particularly good drive because it just left me the 50 yards. Ooh, it looks tidy. Yay! Nice little bird there from, what, three feet? I still thought I'd miss it with the hollow tines. Right, what do I think? Well, I'm not playing the reds again. They're far too hard for me. <laughs> How many times did I hit driver off the tee stupidly trying to overpower the golf course when I could have hit a number of three woods or five woods or whatever? Yeah, so, this golf course isn't assessed yet. It's been assessed next year. So there's 1,888 registered golf courses in England. Now, whilst there are some who simply do not want to be assessed, those that do are in a queue. There's only a limited number of staff to come round and do this. If you've got four or five tees, then and you're getting them all assessed for both sexes, then you're gonna get three or four members of staff turn up. It's gonna take all day to do. So it takes time. It's gonna take time for England and Wales to catch up with everyone else. In my home county, I had a look on the EGU website, my home county, 78% of golf courses, the reds are not assessed for men. So it seems like, um, that chap at the beginning who told me to get informed. Well, I'm informed, but it would appear he isn't. Cheerio. Well, just the seven yards forward. So I'm gonna stick with three wood, same as normal. I'll get a fraction closer. Maybe catch a little bit more down slope. But all in all, it hasn't exactly been an easy round of golf. But then the greens have been a bit bumpy and slow and all fast, very changeable. And I've hit far too many wrong tee shots. Ta-ra. That's it. No more reds for me.